Maury Callum, Global Design Chief at Ford Motor. Thank you so much for joining us here in New York. Pleasure to be here. Now we've got the Ford Edge 2015, newly designed, in showrooms now. When you think about design though, globally, how do you think about it when you want to design something that an American buyer is going to want to buy, as well as potentially an Indian or a Chinese buyer? Well, I think the great thing is, is, is you know, we're, we're starting to learn all about the buyers around the world, and we're, we're selling cars all around the world. The Focus, for example, is the best-selling car in China, so, so, but it's the same Focus you can buy here. So we're actually finding that people's tastes around the world are actually very similar. We still have to tailor the cars to some certain needs, but actually the design tastes are actually very similar. Now you're also in charge of the Lincoln brand. Uh, the Lincoln redesign started about three years ago. We recently unveiled the new Continental Concept car. Is that the direction that we're going to see future Lincoln cars go? Or is that just aimed at the ultra luxury consumer? No, the, we showed the, the Continental Concept and obviously uh, people will notice the front end has changed. We are, that is going to be the new face of Lincoln as we move forward. But I think the car also epitomizes what the rest of Lincoln design will be in terms of the very emotional sculpturing, very, very great stance to the vehicle and just, just overall really nice and a really nice interior as well but really sort of really gives you a hint of where all Lincolns will go. How is the self-driving car and autonomous vehicles going to change the way that you're going to think about the interior of cars? Well I think it's a really exciting period in the, in the car industry because and I think there'll be different types of autonomous cars. I think there'll be autonomous cars for people who really aren't interested in driving and then I think there'll be autonomous cars for people who still like to drive. So the challenge will be in the interiors, how do you design for both and there'll probably be two different types of vehicle. Tesla kind of uh, changing the inside of what a cabin looks like with their 17-inch yeah. touchscreen. Are we going to start to see more of that? I think integrating technology into interiors is probably one of our, our hardest tasks as we move forward, and we're, getting, we're introducing more and more technology. The important thing is to really get that technology friendly to the user and, and really easy to use and intuitive, because there's, no, there's nothing worse than technology that intimidates the customer, so we really need to get that balance right. You came into this job January of 2014, yeah right as GM was announcing their big ignition switch recalls and the issues that they were having there. As you went into the job and you saw that happening, did it make you think maybe a little bit more closely about the sorts of safety features uh, that the cars have to have when they're designed I, I think days. it certainly makes you think what responsibility we have as car designers for our customers and, and, and anything we do really we need to, really need to put the customer first. I think it's, it's really important that not just from a safety viewpoint but also from a, a user experience viewpoint as well. So that's really, it really, you really need to focus on the customer and make sure they, they, they are your primary client. We saw the F-150 celebrated launch yeah. uh, using a lot more aluminum, a lot of cars from other automakers also using a lot yeah. more aluminum. What's going to be that next metal or that next sort of, um, you know, carbon fiber yeah. perhaps that you use in future design? Well, I think a good example was we showed the, the, the 2005 Ford GT that was built all in aluminum. So 10 years later, we, we introduced the uh, F-150 all in aluminum. We've just shown the latest Ford GT, which is all carbon fiber. So, so obviously we're looking at new materials. So there's nothing to say that 10 years from now we might be looking at a lot more carbon fiber in, in mass-produced vehicles, but also other materials also, because obviously light weighting is very important. Murray Callum, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks. It's a pleasure.